650 this morning. Want to get right to your news in a flash, get you all up to speed here with the, everything that's happening on this Wednesday. New from overnight, one man is dead after that single car crash at East State and Mulford. Now, we're still waiting to hear just how that 43-year-old man died. Investigators saying that intersection is open again. And this coming at a time as we're learning more about another deadly crash earlier this week involving a pedestrian. State police confirming a teen, 19-year-old Nina Bianco of Sugar Grove, was hit on U.S. Route 20 on Sunday. Police still are investigating. A Rock County bridge that goes over I-90, that's going to be closed for several days following that semi truck crash from Tuesday. So you see the video there, flames fully engulfing that truck. Now nobody was hurt, but again, they are just trying to get everything back to normal. And happening now, the Biden administration is expected to announce new sanctions against Russia, reportedly targeting hundreds of Russian lawmakers. The president expected to reveal more of this tomorrow during an emergency NATO summit in Brussels. And Illinois' lieutenant governor kicking off a new cybersecurity resource for manufacturers designed to help companies navigate through setting up security systems. MXC saying that the country's most attacked industry by hackers could be manufacturing. That is your news in a flash.